Finally, may I now request the CNI IPP, Mr. Santosh Moore, for the vote of thanks. Namaste. Good morning. And ni hao to my Chinese friends. Chief guest of this program, Right Honorable Prime Minister of Nepal, Mr. Pushpa Kamal Dahal, President, Secretaries of Nepal Government, former Chief Secretary, His Excellency Ambassador of China to Nepal, Mr. Chen Shong, President of Confederation of Nepalese Industries, CNI, Mr. Vishnu Kumar Agrawal, Vice Chairman of China Council for the Promotion of International Trade, CCPIT, Mr. Zhang Shaogang, former ambassadors, delegates of CCPIT China, friends from Business Fraternity of Nepal, government officials, media, friends, CNI family, and ladies and gentlemen. It is an absolute honor to stand before you today and express my gratitude on behalf of CNI. Your presence has truly made this event a great success and we could not be more grateful for your contributions. We sincerely thank the Right Honorable Prime Minister for leaving behind his presence, pressing commitment and making his gracious presence in this event. It has added tremendous value inside the diversity of thoughts to our discussions, making it, making it in a truly enriching experience. We acknowledge and appreciate the efforts of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China in Kathmandu in Nepal and China Council for the Promotion of International Trade CCPIT for coordinating this event and making it a grand success. We are grateful for your insightful contribution and for sharing your knowledge, expertise, the experience with us. Your contribution has been invaluable and will certainly help us in our journey towards achieving our common goals. Your presence here today reflects a deep commitment to international cooperations and a shared desire to promote progress and development around the world. Nepal-China economic cooperation dates back to the formalization of bilateral relations in the 1950s. Among the industries that have received approval for foreign investment till mid-March of physical year 2021-2022, China has the highest share of total investment at 49.7%. Even on the basis of the number of industries, China has the highest 36.6%. China can invest in various other sectors as well. As we all know, our Prime Minister has already indicated about the trade deficit is a huge trade deficit uh, between the, both the countries. China can invest in Nepal's infrastructure projects such as roads, bridges, airports and other transportation projects. Recently, Pokhara International Airport began its operation, constructed with the support from China. In the energy sectors too, China can invest in hydropower, solar power and wind power projects. China can invest in Nepal's manufacturing sector, which was potential for growth in areas such, such as textiles, food processing and pharmaceuticals. China can invest in Nepal's telecommunication sector to improve its connectivity and internet infrastructures. Nepal has a significant amount of minerals resources and China can invest in mining projects too. Once again, we express our deepest, deepest gratitude for your presence and contribution. Thank you. Sheshani.